Hello, Internet. It is time for the thing. The thing and ing. The Le Wizards Revolution. Or whatever. After a month of <laughs> not having it. Um, so, yeah. Recap. Let's do that. Doodaloo! Um, Cheryl! Last time! Oh, can you guys set your, your icons, too? <laughs> Make everything pretty. Um, last time on Le Rob, you guys did your successful Ocean's Eleven prison break maneuver. Shawshank. Shawshank. Ocean's Shawshank, Shawshank Redemption. 11. What? Shawshank's Eleven. Shawshank's Eleven. You Shawshank's did your, Shanks Eleven. You did yeah. your you did your successful Shawshank's Eleven maneuver, and you successfully freed Durzan, um, and saved him from his scheduled execution. Um, and you guys escaped all the, the the army that was chasing you into the woods. Um, and you have now made your way back to Castle Rose proper um, with uh, with Durzan in tow. So, hello. You there? Um, so you guys... You head back to the, um, you meet, you meet Lady Rose in her throne room and whatnot with Durzan. I and thought they, we were in the middle of an escape. You had just finished it. We just wrapped it up. Oh. Yeah. I think, uh, oh yeah, I gotta give you guys Benny's. <laughs> All right. Oh, players. Put my poker chips. Alright, and then uh you get three more for Shippo. Alright. Two. Uh, he's oh, a okay. Card. I I thought he had luck. No. Oh. He's I didn't I didn't I didn't take a child. Oh I okay. Act, I act like one. <laughs> he just acts like one. Alright. Um But yes, so yeah, you guys, uh, you return to Lady Rose, um, and she and Durzan have this, um, pretty happy reunion, you know, they give, like, each other big hugs, and, you know, you can see Lady Rose is like, oh my god, I was so worried, you know, all this, that, and the other thing, Gross. um, and she's, like, thank going around, like, thanking all of you, like, Shaking your hands, giving you hugs, like, oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> Being, you know, uncharacteristically, um, what's the word? Jovial? Yes, jovial. Um, but, um, but Derzan, uh, quickly interrupts the, the celebrations. And he, uh, he tells you all like you know this this is a nice victory and I'm I'm happy to be be safe but but the conflict with with Krios I'm afraid is is just now beginning for you guys um and he goes on to tell you guys that um yeah there was there was recently a uh, a big shift in the uh the balance of power in the succession war, um, Northwatch withdrew all their troops from uh, Riran City some months ago, and they now appear uh, focused on fortifying its own bo their own borders. Um, and with the with the capital open, uh, Westwald and and Southport have have moved in on Riran and are already having numerous engagements or in, in the surrounding regions. Um, and I, of course, was trying to keep Krios involved in the conflict as well to, you know, keep his eyes off of, off of you guys out east here. Um, but uh, he kind of got wise to what I was doing and had me imprisoned. 
you know, and that whole execution thing before you gentlemen, you nice, nice, fine gentlemen came and saved my life. Um, but before I was imprisoned, you know, he, he was planning, he was planning an attack on, on Castle Rose. He was, he was getting ready. Like he's going to use, you know, the, the shift in the war to divert his attention to nipping a, um, an old, an old problem, nipping an old problem in the bud, as they say. Um, you Can know, because blues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, um, yeah. He, Krios, just kind of decided that uh, you know, Lady Rose is a threat that he is allowed to linger for far too long. Um, and now that uh, you know, you've uh, you've freed me, I. I feel like he's going to accelerate his plans, um, so we should expect him to march on Castle Rose in the near future. Um, and Lady Rose, should've, huh? We should just we should just killed him while we were there. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Lady Rose quickly gets back to like her serious self. She starts, uh, you know, she turns to to Dalmora, the spy master, and she's like. We need to get scouts on that immediately, and Zalmora just gives like a, a solemn nod and and like disappears into the crowd, like of like twelve of you in the room right now. <laughs> the Emerald's just like she probably already was. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, and she, uh, you know, she starts giving out orders, and she looks to you guys like. I'd understand if you would want to, to flee the might, the full might of Krios, but I could really use your help here. You've uh, you've been staunch allies for for the past several months, and you know I'm I'm hoping I can I can rely on you to, to help in the in the coming war. Someone's got to defend my water park. Right. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, are you guys sticking around, or you'd be like, nope, bye, <laughs> campaign over. <laughs> I'm here as long as I get paid. Yeah. There's, me there's that plenty of lucrative. Bad, uh... he kill one prisoner. What's that? <laughs> Rios can't be all that bad. He couldn't even kill one prisoner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We will fight him to the pain. Ooh. Mm. I'd say we just sign him up for one of Metadox's uh, MLMs. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be selling Tupperware for the next 10,000 years. You you, um, you, you create uh, Shippo coin as the new currency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what am I, so explain this to me again. What am I giving you of value? Nothing. Oh. But then we tell everyone that you did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Basically, the situation is this. Um, you guys have an army heading toward Castle Rose. They're about five weeks or so out. Um, because they have to move a whole army, like, something like a thousand miles or whatever the distance was. Um... Let me actually double check that. And someone's kind of echoing. Okay, now it's okay. I think. I don't know. Hey, me? I have had problems where I sometimes have to hop out of Discord. Okay. Uh, that looks, uh, like looks like Dave. Dave. What? Dave Hold Daverson. On. How about now? Oh, there we go. I think. Yeah, it's good now. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the measurement is actually about 800 miles as the crow flies. Um, but yeah, they have to move their whole army, Brandon you know, so Lee, they're going to be advancing, setting up outposts and whatnot, and the supply lines, and, you know, that shit takes time. So they're going to be doing all that. Um, and you guys, in the meantime, will be able to do things to help prepare. Um 
And Are that we about can be the A-team the airship. Huh? Are we about the A-team the airship? <laughs> we did just get an airship, didn't we? Yeah, you have an airship. Um, but yeah, you guys, there's all kinds of shit you can do. Um, you know, you want to do guerrilla, guerrilla raids, attack their logistics, do other shit during your downtime. Like, we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, so so Krios's forces vastly over outnumber those of Castle Rose, uh, easily ten to one. So you guys are at like a ten to one disadvantage in like a straight fight. Um, you guys can do conscription to raise that number a bit, you know, because this is like just the like professional soldiers that work directly for Lady Rose. You haven't like, you know, gotten the uh, the locals, you know ready for war and whatnot um and yeah you guys have a little bit of a bonus from being in a fortified position um and then you guys can also try to come up with like clever battle plans to sway the odds in your favor um but this will all be based on your your prep that you're doing like like five weeks in advance so um we uh What's that? I was just gonna say, how loud are airships? Uh would they would they hear us above them? Or are we gonna do a commando <laughs> raid to take out the head? You're using an airship to do a commando raid in the night. <laughs> um, do a halo jump. <laughs> right. Uh so like whatever you guys are doing in prep for like the, the battle, um, we'll kind of do it at like the macro level. Like you'll do one roll just to resolve the situation so we're not like getting into a you know, a whole scenario of you commando raiding something. We'll just say like, Yes, you organized a raid and did the thing, this is your role, this is how well it, it did. Yeah. Um okay. this is the bonus you get from it type of thing. Okay. Well, I guess first off, do they have like the Magitek APCs like we do? Oh yeah, like, yeah. They they have they have everything you have and, and more. Yeah. So I guess step one, I would be like, all right, let's do what they do to the Russians: take out the first tank and the last tank, and then they're all stuck. <laughs> also, find every reasonable bridge and blow it up. Right. Yeah, like you guys have. The, uh, the mountains, like, surrounding the valley give you guys, like, a nice choke point. So, yeah, if like, only it... we had allies. If only we had made allies along the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Um... Like all those Dragonborn or whatever the right. copyright friendly... Right? Yeah, it's the call to Gondor, man. Like, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> so... <laughs> we, we, like, made some. We should go talk to them and be like, hey... Yeah. Um, Remember when I, you know, fought that guy? And, yeah. And, we and you beat him this. so bad, their god showed up and was like, I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can be, be like, hey, as the guy who your your god likes, come hang out with me at this nice little war we got going on. As repentance for that yeah. terrible display. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so why don't we... Yeah, why don't we do this and like we'll we'll, we'll kind of thusly this on the on the timetable i guess um and here you know what i will just move you guys to the battle right now um here we go because i have all the modifiers on the board there and everything so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna do a mass battle by the way if you haven't figured it out um what? yeah no it's a shame <laughs> somebody has the battle <laughs> <laughs> um but anyway so I, you know, I made a little kind of pretty interface here. Um, so N is your numbers advantage. You guys don't have that, but the other side does. Um, T is your tactical advantage. Um, you get plus one for your fortifications as they are. You guys can do shit to kind of shore that up a bit. Um, and then B is your bonus for having like a battle plan. Um, and that will kind of like... That will that can start out high, but it'll go down as like the enemy gets wise to your your tactics as like the battle goes on and they they adjust and stuff. Um, and then M is just your morale bonus, um, since basically you have nowhere to retreat to and like this is your last stand. You have a plus four on any morale rolls. 
Um, so like if you if your commander loses a battle roll, um, they get to reroll. Or yeah, they basically have a yeah. It, if you lose a battle roll, you have to make a morale check. Um, and if you fail the morale check, like you just lose the battle because everybody freaks out and retreats. But you can't retreat, so you have a plus four on it. Um, and the other side, their morale is kind of at zero because they're just regular soldier people. All they really got going for them is, you know, numbers. They have no other advantages other than numbers. Mm -hmm. um, Which we're hoping to help mitigate before they get here. Right. Um, so, yeah, why don't we do address the numbers stuff first? You guys wanted to call some of your allies. Um, yeah. So you want to you want to talk to allies? You want to conscript some locals? You know, yep. um, what are you guys rolling for that? We're just gonna do it as like a big one big roll, right? Like it'd probably be persuasion or you know, however else you guys want to try to approach it. Yes. So. Uh, performance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Oh. I'll have Shippo do like a <laughs> interpretive dance. You're doing like a a war propaganda dance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking sick. But, well, do do a theater production, right? Like a play. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Which groups are we trying to persuade to help us again? Um. So you have your your local people, like the residents of Castle Rose, like your your conscript. You're trying to conscript people. Um is like the main thing and then i think you guys wanted to talk to the um the agamid barbarians up in the mountains that you like sort of are honorary members of their tribe do we have other tribes or like people in the area i can't remember if we interacted with um those. you did I feel like we yeah i feel like we didn't you had the <laughs> trade deal with did. the um with the town to the east um oh was, yeah uh, we saved them from goblins. Yeah, you saved them from goblins, so you could probably call uh, Tunstead's point. You guys went out there and helped with their goblin problem, and they resumed their, you know, shipments to you and whatnot. Um, you guys could probably lean on them for some extra reinforcements as well. Um, I think those are the only real neighboring peoples you've interacted with, so... Um, yeah, I mean, we killed the goblins, so they're not an option. All right. Yeah, yeah the <laughs> goblins are not gonna. <laughs> we spent most of our time killing uh, agents of whoever these people are, uh, so we didn't spend any time making friends. <laughs> for Tunstead's point, I'd almost say like we try to get uh, them just to send like supplies and be like a supply line. Okay. Oh That's wait, did, did you say that you go through the mountains? Sorry, I didn't interrupt. Yeah, you have like so the the castle's situated in this in a valley, so there's sort of a, a natural choke choke point entering where entering the area. So like it's, um, you basically have to go through this pretty narrow pass to get into the into where the castle is. Do you guys want to try to like collapse the pass on them or something? I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah, I think that was one of the one of the lines was like bridges. Yeah, and yeah. Possible, like they should only be able to really get to us by airship. Yeah. Which also may cut us off from the rest of the continent. For yeah, that's time, the but... downside. <laughs> sure. That's why well, I'm like, yeah. oh, Tunstead's point. We need supplies. We need water. We need food, so we can yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down for a while. Yeah. Yeah, because this is probably going to be like a, a long-term siege type of thing. Like, they're going to show up and they're going to, like, pen you guys in for a while. And so it's going to be kind of a long, drawn-out affair. Um, like, each battle roll will be basically a whole day. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, so you're going you're gonna to try to get, like, extra supplies from them. Yeah. Be like, hey, can you, can you give us, like, our next month's shipments in advance kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, because I figure, like, they're recovering from being almost raised themselves. Yeah. They're yeah. not going to be able to raise a huge army. Yeah. But, uh, what do you guys want to roll for that? I think persuasion is the only thing I really got going. Persuasion's the obvious one. Yeah. 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 Does somebody take main and we try to modify their roll, or... Uh, yeah, yeah, if you guys all want to try to help each other out. 
You can do that. Support's really only good if it's a contested roll, though, because if, you, if you're both trying to hit a four, what's the point of... Like, in order to help somebody, you have to succeed. <laughs> so. Right. And this is just for getting extra supplies, not for the allies yet. Yeah, right? the, this we'll say this will give you guys, like, a little bit more of a tactical advantage. So yeah. whatever, whatever your role is on this persuasion, that'll I be get a free, your... I get oh, a free, it, there you go. <laughs> is, it a, is it a test or is it a test or a... Or a... Nope, just the roll. Okay. Um, so, Otterts, you got the raise, so that'll... Uh, oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> I need to be on the right page also. I'm, like, trying to interact with my fucking... With my player screen here. Um, so that one will go up to... Why is it... Oh, I have the wrong thing selected. Derp -a -derp. All right. Look at this. I made this all fucking pretty. So that'll go up to a three. Bam! Cool. You guys have a plus three there. So, um, what do we do for conscriptions? Um, I think one of you was talking uh, performance. <laughs> I was going to suggest taunting, uh, in the sense of <laughs> trying to... Well, that I could be your assisting role, like you're taunting the cowards in the audience, with, if anyone, like, jeers or boos or anything. You're, uh, you're like, <laughs> like, hey, shut up. <laughs> We're getting attacked. <laughs> Pull your weight, man. <laughs> Support the room. Yeah. I mean, you guys could also just do them as separate roles, too. Yeah. It, like I was saying, unless it's a contested roll, there's no point in doing yeah. a support roll because yeah. you have to roll a four to help the person g beat a four. Right. <laughs> that That's redundant. I think that is surprisingly disappointing. So I'm going to explain that. Yeah. I'm going to boost trait while doing performance to... Uh... <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. So you're, like, aggressively telling people to join the fight. <laughs> I mean, this old retired soldier is joining the fight. Anyone younger than me can do it. All right. So I'll say... Wait, I don't need to... I don't need to... I just need to... I just get to auto-activate it. Never mind. Yeah, so, so we'll yeah. say the yeah the raids there gives you an extra two force tokens. Um, Shippo got the success, so that could be another token. And I think that's pretty much about what you guys can get out of like Castle Rose's population. So, like that's kind of your cap for your your local conscripts right there. So you have four mm -hmm. force tokens. They still have 10, but that will lower their numbers advantage a little bit. Um, well, that's why I was wondering if you can, if you could, could if we could convince the, uh, yeah, the dragon board to, to, <laughs> yeah, to, aggrament. yeah, aggrament to, to like do some raids and ambush them while they're in the mountains. Yeah. So that they arrive at, with a smaller force rather than. Okay. Um, and if there's any volunteers that are looking for some fights. Yeah. Yeah, we can also recruit them. That would increase our... Yeah. I mean, one way or the other, it just, it, it's just going to lower the... I'd, the I'd say you guys, like, with whatever you're rolling to get them, I'd say with a success, you could get them to do some some stuff to, to hamper the enemy. If you get a raise, they'll lend you some forces as well. That's fair. I mean, oh, one so one token or two token, <laughs> one force or two forces. Uh oh, one it'll be one force token if you get the raise. Otters, whatever you said, piss them off. <laughs> uh, we're gonna, we're gonna gonna... <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no, they're gonna they're gonna see us as, as a time of <laughs> weakness to to return to raiding. <laughs> um. All right, Benny. Benny rewrote that. Okay. Uh, you got to keep that one, though, that second one, because you had the, the crit fail, and that's a dumb luck thing. Um, but you yeah. did get the success. So they are willing to cause some uh, trouble for the other side. Um, so that's actually going to give them a... I'll, I'll say that gives them, like, a negative on their tactics. Um, so let me... Boop. So that will we'll give that... We'll make that a minus two. You will harry and harangue. I'd be happy to, you know, duel or 
have some contest to be like, no, you should totally help us more. Or, oh, shoot. Did I... I'm happy to kill most of them until they volunteer to help me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could try taunting them into helping us more. Yeah, I mean, whatever approach you guys want to make. <laughs> I was more thinking, like, a, the athletics, like, you know, feet, like... Basically. Yeah, you're trying to, like, do a show of strength kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try that first? There you go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I think, yeah, at this point, you're just kind of, they're, they're more willing to, to do more raids on the, uh, on the enemy there. Oh, yeah, and this should actually be a six. I don't know why. I mean, anything that keeps them preoccupied protecting their, um, yeah. their headquarters and all of that, that's forces not coming after us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they could have them, like, you could have them, uh go raid like go ambush go raid the other enemies lands yeah. and cause some uh, like to fuck up their moral checks so they're like hey wait our uh, home t our home's been destroyed maybe we should go back <laughs> <there."> <laughs> all right um let's see there um so I think that's it for, like, your allies, right? Um, yeah, unless we can, like, train the civilians on how to, like, make, like, Molotovs. Yeah, yeah, you can train them a little better. You can try to, like, fortify the um, the, yeah. the the walls and stuff. You can, like, come up with, you know, clever plans and shit. The Otter <laughs> Water Park is going to lend a hand and build a mo better moat, like, all the way around the <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Peepee's Pee water park. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just we'll, we'll build it into the water park later. For now it's just a moat. Okay. <laughs> it's a piss golem. Alright, there you go. So that'll I'll say that'll yeah, since that's like a permanent structure, that'll that'll bump your tactical advantage up more. Um but you're kind of at the cap on your tactical advantage now, so maybe you guys wanna do a bit more in the battle planning department. Yeah. Um, Are we still down for collection? It'd be easier to do battle planning with, like, you know, up, uh, seeing what the area looked like. Can you Maybe guys like the not world, go on like, the like world map? Like oh, the world map oh okay. Yeah, you guys want the... All right. Sorry. <laughs> It's trying to figure out how to defend America by looking at uh, Lansdowne Street in Boston. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so they're they're coming from East Haven. Yeah, they yeah. gotta. They, so yeah, the big thing is they gotta they gotta cross the Emerald River there. So that's like a place you could probably like fuck them up a little. Yeah, um, and then like... yeah, and then the mountain pass is like a choke point as well. Um. But then, like once once it's through there, you'd want to like retreat back to the the castle walls and stuff. So the things that immediately come to mind to me is take airships out and try to like knock down trees on the forest path. Yeah, just try to like to delay them or delay infantry, delay vehicles, so really only the airships can come, and then we can sabotage the bridge. Yeah. Uh we could do some we could do some like medieval bio biological warfare and collect uh poison ivy into giant piles along the trails and set them on fire as the when the when their army's downwind <laughs> what the fuck? but we'd want to do it really far away from castle rose because you do not want to die of, of uh of poison ivy inhalation <laughs> oh god what the fuck, dude? I mean, it is a war, man. Yeah. It's also, it's also a real tactic that they used to fucking do. I believe you. <laughs> like, like, mustard gas was just people getting tired of going out and picking poison ivy. Like, fuck it, this hurts. Right. Um, so I would say a survival roll for that, I guess. <laughs> 
we can add that to the battle plan if you want. <laughs> your your biological warfare. Yeah. What about knocking down trees? That just like. Uh, I think that'd be like athletics or something. How about a fighting roll? <laughs> or a fighting roll. You're fighting the trees. I got a freaking lightsaber blood blade. Yeah, so. yeah, that's true. Can I summon the leviathans in the river to, like, harass them while they're crossing? Oh my god. <laughs> Shamrill chops down a bunch of fucking trees. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you need help? <laughs> um, I think he's good. He got the rays. Um, and then were, were you doing, like, the biological warfare thing with fucking poison ivy? Or... I don't, uh, I don't have the ability to, to do that, because I yes. no... There we go. <laughs> All right. Yes, we are. So, you guys, that'll, that'll max out your battle plan, so you got a plus four there now. So you're just, yeah, so your first, 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 first stage of the battle, your, your commander will have a plus eight. <laughs> Effectively. Is there anything else that we can? Uh... Um, nah, that's pretty much like what you can, everything you can do with like what you have available. The, you, you essentially capped out on the bonuses that that you could get. Like you got the most number of people you could get. You got, you know, you maxed out your tactical advantage. You maxed out your battle plan. You know, A anything else you guys want to add is pretty much like superficial at this point. Like, you know. I say we find as many cobras as we can and put them into a into <laughs> little baskets, and then cover those baskets with blankets and leave them for them to find, <laughs> and tell them that they're picnic baskets. <laughs> or you, you throw a sack of snakes at them and be like, they're not all poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> so then the snakes and the and the people are looking at each other, trying to figure out who did he mean. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Put our uh, airships as high up in the air as possible and drop rocks on them. Yeah, yeah, you guys are doing like all the, all the stuff. Um, but yeah, all the Greek fire and nitroglycerin we had is on this one airship that's suddenly about to lose its ability to fly. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, you guys, you guys do all your prep. Um, Otters, um, I think you got wounded last time, but like. It's yeah. been five weeks. Yeah, it's been five weeks, so we're just gonna thusly that and say you you fully healed. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure one of us would have just cast healing on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you have support staff and everything. Um, and so you guys you guys are doing your prep, and eventually, you know, the the scouts the scouts come back. Saying that they're about you know a day's a day's march out, and so um, you know, uh, Lady Rose kind of kind of gathers everyone around and is just like, all right, you now this is it. Creos has decided that you know we shouldn't be able to live. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm Creos not good at... decided that he's really not going to allow that fetch to be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so she's like, kind of, kind of try, trying to give an inspiring speech. Um, but it's just like, clearly like a little nervous and like kind of stumbling over her words and stuff. Um, but, um... Uh, sorry, <laughs> I forgot to write the inspiring speech. Um, <laughs> Quick, ask an online AI. Yeah, um, but uh, but no, she says uh, you know you've all you've all come together here from from many walks of life, but we're all united by a common cause. We wanted to to begin a new life here, free of the influence of the sorcerer lords. Um, and the, and the, uh, and the troubles of their, their succession war. Um, but now Krios has decided that, to, to bring the war to us anyway. Um, and he wants us dead. Like, that's it. 
Like, we, we have to fight, or he's going to wipe us out. Um, and, you know, she's... Like, you, you, there's, like, this whole... She's in the square. There's this whole crowd of people. All your... All your fellow, you know, adventure types who've been working for her are around. And a bunch of, bunch of common folk are there. Um, and one of the commoners is like, but what can we do? Like, we're, we're just people. You know, um, they're, they're soldiers, they're, they're Templars, they're, you know, the servants of a, of an all powerful sorcerer lord. And she kind of looks around and she goes, no, you are my people. And, um, she pulls her sword out. And holds it up, and uh, she tells everyone to take a knee. Are you guys taking a knee? Sure. Yeah, yeah might as well. All right. And so she like holds her sword like upright in front of her, both hands, and she looks over at everyone. Be without fear in the face of your enemies. Be courageous and upright that the gods may favor thee. Safeguard the helpless and do no wrong. So long as you hold this oath in your heart of hearts, I grant you the right to bear arms and the power to meet justice under my name. And she does kind of like a flourish with the sword. And she goes, now rise, a knight of the white rose. And you guys kind of feel this sort of like weird pulse of energy um and you just sort of like have a really good feeling about the fight ahead and you guys can make occult rolls on that if you want or otter you can just roll focus if you want because it's some sorcery shenanigans all right so otter and jamrel you guys are pretty sure she like low-key like bless the entire army <laughs> and also Moroku. Um, but yeah, she also just like knighted everyone who's holding a weapon, so. <laughs> yeah. right. This is my righteous penis. I should have taken this <laughs> a little more serious. Oh, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you get for dicking around? <laughs> Um, oh yeah, and I forgot to add one more thing to the battle. Um, so Lady Rose tells everyone that, that she's going to be uh, focusing on, on using some of her, her sorcery to help protect uh, your side in the battle. Um, so basically, she's going to be doing some, some ritual shit to... Um, she can soak wounds for the army, basically, is the, the mechanical benefit of that um and she's soaking with her her focus skill um so basically if you guys you know lose a round of battle she'll use her bennies to to um to try to prevent losses um but uh but yeah you guys ready for the the big battle the big bad battle do this let's fucking go Oh, I should probably get some dramatic music going, huh? What do we got? All right, ambient action, medieval battle. Let's go. I think Rapper. you're supposed to just actually play the music from Helm's Deep. I don't have it. I'm using royalty-free stuff because we're streaming. Oh, all right, <laughs> uh, streaming. Here we go. There you go. And then you got your medieval battle noises I don't think you there we go I had to make it a little louder all right so let's do the initiative shit add you fools all right and they have some of their champions as well uh, I'll duel you what? oh I only got shit hold up I, didn't I offered to do their champion and settle it now. <laughs> they're they're having none of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Oh yeah, and that's their commander. So 
Um, is one of you guys acting as the commander, or gonna you, are you gonna let uh, Katya do it? Uh, I get I what get to use my uh, boost trait. What what on my uh, on my battle rolls? Oh uh, yeah. Do I? I'm asking. I... Uh, yeah. Okay, then yeah, I should probably do it because okay. I get a uh, because I'll have a D10. Okay. Um, I think she has a D10 naturally. <laughs> uh, um, you can assist if you want. Okay. Or use uh, yeah, yeah, do but, a but also, since, but also since it's a test, I get to, I get to reroll every every test I initiate. Oh uh, shit! Is that a test though? Let me let me double check that. I don't know if that counts, but. Yeah, I should probably get the rules out for this shit we're about to do. This big, final, climactic battle! And I forgot the rules. A penel <laughs> It's a penultimate tally. The what? A, pen a, a penultimate tally. Almost like a final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. and, and there's two copyright strikes right <laughs> alright oh no that's a chase why no I said mass battles what the fuck oh my god why are you cool Adobe's crashing <laughs> Mass battle. There we go. Mass battles. Bam. All right. So we did the setup. All right. Oppo yeah. Uh, they're opposed roles. I guess so they did the test? Or no, that's not. No, a test is the combat maneuver, right? Is it specifically called a test, or does it say opposed roles? Or... Uh test because I have to initiate it. Okay. Yeah, so that yeah, this isn't a this isn't gonna be a test. It's just an opposed roll. Um Oh. Um like well, yes I could always But like we could say uh, you're you're acting in an advisory capacity for the tactics and whatnot. Yeah, it's just that I have all the bat leadership edges. Right. <laughs> like like inspire and yeah, hold the yeah. line and uh and tactician. Yeah. Right. Which I kept fucking forgetting to use. Oh. <laughs> Is tactician the one that lets you draw the two cards? Yeah, and then I can give All it right. to anyone on my uh, oh. anyone on my team. You don't have it in the um Do you have it in your your sheet for the API ideally? I do not. All I, right, let me set that up. So that way, I, the fuck I mean, does it really does it really matter at this point? I, you can just draw, deal me an extra card, right? I'm gonna do. It, it'll take me like two seconds. Um, so you oh. have tactician. Yeah. I, I literally just have to go into your sheet and add like TT. Um, oh. and it'll show the the card should go to the uh, the chat window when we do this. So let's see how that goes. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Whoops. Hold on. <laughs> Should be new round. All right, there you go. So you got the king as your extra. Um, oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rick. Um, so yeah, you have a king, a king of diamonds. There, you can give to someone else if you want. I don't think it matters a whole ton for this, but yeah. I think right, that's kind of that's kind of my point. It's like it was great before, but right. I, but I never <laughs> used it. Oh well. Well, we got it set up now. Um, but I could give it to Jamal and be like, "All right, motherfucker, go." <laughs> 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 All right. So they arrive and begin the the siege of Castle Rose. Um, you guys said you were gonna like start at the um, at like the um, the fucking pass. the pass, yeah, and do like a fighting retreat back to your walls. So we'll say, you know, that's the. You're doing the fighting retreat. Um, oh, yeah. You know what else I forgot to do? All your bonuses. Fuck. All right. Hold on. 
Here, I'm just gonna... Here, this will be... There we go. Alright, that's a zero right now. Uh, I forgot the champion, the bonuses you guys give as, as champions is, is a separate thing. Um, so let me take care of that. Oh, so then my, so then yeah, I'm going to give Jamil the, uh, that King of Diamonds or whatever the hell it is. Okay. All right, let me, let me take care of that then. Uh, Jamil, you're getting the King of Diamonds. <laughs> uh, so that'll move you, uh, right there. All right. Um, all right, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. <laughs> right on track. Yep. Letter tokens, there we go. All right. Sorry, I gotta make this pretty. Alright, and then Man, you guys. Tech Turkey would be awesome with somebody who has a, a Joker dependent. Oh, yeah. Uh, thing hey, guess what? You get the Joker. <laughs> yeah. I, do, right. I, I, I auto kill anything on a, when I have a Joker. Okay, here's a Joker. So, the Templars are doing their thing. They're, they're the champions of the other side. Yeah. You know, they have the, they have Krios's emblem on them, and they're coming out with their their swords and, and fighting. Huzzah! Uh, so that is oh man. All right, so that's gonna be a raise. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta do the. Because he got a fucking raise on it. All right, so five. All right, that adds plus two. All right, that'll be there at plus two. Um, and that is his turn. Gallus, what are you doing? Uh, this is very different than regular combat, Tom. So yeah. Plus sure. I mean, I can always do stick to what I know and basically draw. Um, taunt and draw them away as a distraction, bait for whatever we're doing. Yeah, whatever skill you want to roll, man. You're like drawing off the disorganizing their forces. Alright, so with a success, um, that will be. Uh, Alright. Shit. Sorry. I, yeah, success means... Nope, that's the wrong thing. Uh, you get plus one to the commander's battle roll, but you're going to take fatigue from bumps and bruises. Uh, unless you want to re-roll that. Wait, sorry. Um, so yeah, with, just... with, a, with a success, you still take fatigue damage. Oh. Uh... You, need a raise, you need a raise to avoid yeah. getting battered. Uh... It's a Benny to do that, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to go back to my old thing of just giving everyone a Joker whenever a Joker happens. Because I forget to give out Bennies all the time. So I'll just say everyone gets a Benny when there's a Joker. Um, did that actually go? Oh, yeah, because some of you guys spent yeah. your Bennies. Okay. Yep. Um... Actually, could I also spend a conviction token instead? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I've been collecting those things for too long. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, you've had three of them for, like, a few months. <laughs> yeah, which means I've right. had a D6. Yeah, an exploding D6. So roll with the exclamation point. Ah! Oh, that's garbage. <laughs> Bummer. 
And since this isn't technically a test, I can't actually re-roll it. No. Re-roll the taunt. No. Eh, you can Benny the initial roll if you want. <laughs> you keep the yeah, better you it. keep the better roll unless you crit fail, so. Alright. Yeah, so you got the seven, so that's just a success. So you're gonna you're gonna take one point of fatigue. Take some bumps and bruises in the fight. Well, it happens. All right, what is Shippo doing? Um, Shippo is going to use illusion magic and his performance ability to create wild creatures that terrorize the nice the besieging army. All right, roll your roll. All right. Ah, uh, you keeping the six? He's gonna spend a Benny. Okay. As soon as I find my thing. Oh wait, I can just press it up. There you there go. Are. Got the raise. All right. Let's roll that two d six. All right. So an eleven. Is a slaughter. The foes, the foe reels at the champion's onslaughts. Subtract two from the enemy commander's battle roll. <laughs> so that seems appropriate for like getting them with a bunch of wild animals. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, that'll cancel out the plus two there. Um. So they're back to zero, and uh, I think you. Do you uh, oh no, that that is the bonus you give. Um, yeah, so you're, you're fu you fuck them up, basically, nice. instead of buffing your own people. Um, alright. Jamrel, what are you doing? Um, can we make them go negative, or is that zero? Yeah, as yeah, you can, you can make that go negative. Alright, I'm thinking of starting off with a big-ass blast. Alright, um. Uh, yeah, so just be your spell casting. You you just roll spell casting. You don't need to do all Special the damage range. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Because I get the power points back if I do damage. So yeah. Like... Well, I mean, you're yeah. You, remember, this is happening over like 24 hours, so you get a raise. Yeah. All right. So two I'm making six. people explode in bloody balloons, and then you know. All right, slaughter power. again. Um, so they get a, another minus two. <laughs> oh man. I got a blood mage, he just keeps on blowing up everybody. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that is now oh, negative two. <laughs> Alright. Um, that is it for you, Jamrel. Uh, one of their champions is up. He's gonna do some uh, we'll say he's like supporting with some spell casting, so he's gonna roll faith. Alright. Uh Oh yeah, these guys are wild cards, so he does get that five. Um, but he's gonna take the fatigue. So which one? Yeah, it's that guy. So I'm gonna give him a little green there for the fatigue. Um, he's gonna lower this by one. All right, Draken. This is you. So I'm um, guess that. I figure I'm just going to be trying to kill some on the edges and fight. Alright. Uh, uh, I'm using the weapon. I think it gives me a plus one to fight. Uh, that would count here or not? No, not for this. Because you're, okay. you're, you're, ba you're, you're using your fighting for like a day of fighting. Oh. <laughs> um, do you want to keep that or re-roll it? I'll re-roll it. Ah. <laughs> uh, if you use your conviction token, that'll make that a raise. <laughs> oh, that's right. I do have that. Yeah, why not? Alright. Is it... Does yeah. it matter rolling or does... Yeah, one, or I'll, yeah actually, yeah, the raise is the highest you can go, so you don't really okay. need to roll it. Um... But yeah, that'll guarantee you a raise, so we'll do... 
Um, so that is seven. Uh, so that is Valor. The warrior's support adds plus two to the command. Yeah, so you give plus two to your side. Um, bam. Oh, no, plus two. Stupid. There we go. Shazam! All right. Um, and that is it for you. Otterts, what are you doing in this so, big, scary battle? I think I'm draining the magic from opposing casters. Oh, nice. Yeah, so just roll your uh, your focus. Yeah. You're like, boop, give me that. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you're <bring> a Benny. <laughs> Otterts, no. Try again. That worked. And there you go. Uh, oh, so that will be a regular... That will be, yeah, just a Otters. success. Otters has a conviction token as well. Unless you want a conviction. I, when did I get a conviction token? Uh, probably from resting or working on your water park or something. Alright, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Alright. That yeah. makes it a raise. Yeah, so that will guarantee you the raise. Oh, true. But yeah. Cool. Uh, right. So, 10... Uh, that is slaughter again. <laughs> so you're like, they're like reeling from your draining, drainy energies. They're um, relying on casters and yeah. they doing. Sh All right, uh, Moroku, what are you doing? Um, I am going to. Use... I'm going to inspire. The uh, yeah, I'm going to ins I'm gonna inspire the leader. All right. Oh, the uh, you're just gonna buff the the commander directly. Yeah. Okay. And uh, or like, or I'll inspire the troops, or I guess, or whatever. Like, yeah. just point is, I'm rolling the inspire. When I'm showing my my character sheet. Bards, inspire courage. Oh, okay. That's very... Yeah. So I'll be providing... Uh, I'll be providing hold the line to everyone. So, like, it's a plus one to the toughness, if that matters. On the, um, uh... Yeah, just, just roll whatever skill that's attached to. We'll say you're, like, giving that to, like, everyone on the battlefield. Yeah, uh... No! <laughs> I was gonna spend a Benny on that. Alright, so that'll be a success. So that'll give your side plus one, unless you're re-rolling again. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> All right, so that'll be plus one to your side, and you're going to take a point of fatigue. But being a bard is exhausting. You're, you're, you've been singing too loud. <laughs> your, your lungs are just, ah. Uh. All right, so another acolyte. Um, he's also going to support with with buffing and, and all that good stuff. Um, and he does a plus one, but he takes a point of fatigue. Uh, let's see. What do you do? All right. That is down to two. All right. And then the last one, he's going to do fighting. Ba -ba. Oh, <laughs> it takes some fatigue. Uh, all right. Um, so that will lower that to a minus one. All right. It is now time for the battle rolls. Um, so on your side, you guys have plus 12. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so let's see how this goes. Uh, this will be battle. <laughs> <laughs> um, and on their side, they have plus, plus three. Plus three. <laughs> oh man! Um, uh, 
All right. Oh man, defeated with a raise. Um. So. Uh. Let's see. Raise the defeated army loses two force tokens. So, that's gonna be. Nice. A bam, and a bam. Um, and that will lower their advantage by two. Um, so yeah, you guys are, are basically holding the line at the pass for the bulk of the day. It's this crazy battle. You guys are all up there doing your thing. And you see, like, the, the regular people are out there, like, just trying to survive this shit show. You see, uh, you see some of your, your buddies out there helping out. Um, I'm forgetting everyone's fucking names. <laughs> um, Yurian is like riding a horse, leading a fucking cavalry charge, like through the enemy's ranks. Um, you know, Jorik's like throwing spells around. Uh, Alva's like murdering the shit out of some poor bastard. <laughs> and you guys see the traveler like out there, this pudgy guy. He's got a sword and armor, and he's just, like, jumping around, like, crazy fast, Naruto running through the battlefield and, like, shooting, like, blasts of magic with this, like, glowing tattoo that's now gone most of the way up his arm. And he's just, like, cutting through people. Well, that's different. I kind of <laughs> forgot about him. <laughs> yeah. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> it's like, come a long way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um yeah and so that is the first round of battle oh they have to make a morale check so let me do that that would be uh so morale uh they will be at minus two because they lost two force tokens it's gonna be their spirit which i'm just gonna say is d8 spirit at minus two uh let's see Minus two. All right, so morale. That's not good. <laughs> um, I'm gonna Benny that. This battle can't be over here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try that again. Uh, spirit. Crit fail. D8, minus two. Uh-oh. <laughs> One more time. Guys, I didn't think this was going to suck. Never mind. We're going home. Okay. <laughs> Got the raise. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, they're just, like, getting beaten down, but they are they got big numbers. They're still still holding up, you know, and you guys make your, your fight. You, you make your fighting retreat back into the safety of the castle. Um, and it is time, you know, you're, you're inside. The, the battle kind of dies down and the, your forces separate and, uh, and you know, each side kind of breaks off to, to lick their own wounds and whatnot. Um, so we w the next day, we will deal a new round of initiative. All right. So you guys are all, like, up on the wall here. You see all your, your conscripts are, like, armed with with the ember rifles and and like crossbows and like slingshots and all kinds of other like improvised bullshit you know you see these two old ladies with uh with a pot of like boiling something or other and you decide it's best not to question it <laughs> um but yeah general you're up on the wall you know, Krios' forces are on approach with, like, some siege weapons, you know, towers, cannons, that sort of thing. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, I'm probably going to cast a spell again. All right. I'm thinking of either puppet or stun right as they're trying to load, like, an artillery piece. Because <laughs> it's, like, backfire. Oh, man. Is that just spellcasting again? That is just, yeah. It's all, you're just doing skill rolls because it's all like a day of fighting. Oh my god. 
Nice. That is a raise. You get the 2d6. Five. Valor. So you get a plus two to your side. Bam. Oh yeah, your uh, your battle your battle plan modifier is gonna go down one because it's been around. Forgot, almost forgot about that. Um, Cause they're they're getting wise to your your cheeky shit you're pulling, basically, and adjusting their tactics. Um, but yeah, you gave a plus two to your side. Bam. So like some cannons are exploding because you're like mind controlling people to fuck them up or whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right. Draken, you got, like, siege towers and shit coming up to the wall. There's, like, cannons and bullshit. Well, I'm going uh, to be fighting and throwing my spear. <laughs> the one You're just going to chuck your spear in the siege towers? Yep. <laughs> All right. Lightning. All right. So that could either either athletics or fighting, whatever you want to. All right. Um. Uh, did you take fatigue last time? Uh, no, because okay. I spent Benny and the. Uh... Was it um, who? Sorry, who took fatigue? I should have marked it on your your thing so I can keep track of it. Um, Gallus, uh, you were one of them, Morocco. right? Morocco, Morocco, oh, Morocco. Did, but, okay. Uh, but I uh, I take care of it on my sheet because if you yeah if you yeah I just button, it rolls it for yeah. you. Yeah, I don't have all of your sheets open. I just want to have it on the token so I can yeah just keep track of everything. Um, so I think it was just you two, right? And are you keeping that role, uh, Draken? What the hell? Yep, apparently I'm okay. keeping that role. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to take a point of fatigue. Um, and that will give your commander a plus one. You're, you're just really, like, tearing into those siege towers, but, you know, their numbers are just, like, so overwhelming. You're, you're exhausted from fighting all day. Um, Templar Acolyte. All right, these guys are debuffed. Um, he is going to try to buff. <laughs> uh, where is your thing? Oh, yeah, Faith. There we go. Uh, but he is minus one from fatigue. All right. Cool. Okay, so he's going to take another point of fatigue. Um, but he gives a plus one to his side. Oh, no, plus one. All right. Otters! Yeah. I'm Show gonna, me what you got! I'm going to use telekinesis to uh, chuck the projectiles back at them. Chuck the what? Projectiles back at them. <laughs> so someone launches a, a catapult, and you're just like, nope. <laughs> Try to send her. <laughs> uh, no. you keeping that roll? Uh, I think so. Um, All right. Two points left. It's probably better to do that. All right. So you will take a point of fatigue, but that is a plus one for your side. All right. Uh, another acolyte. He's basically doing some shooting. Uh, Oh, I forgot to give him a minus one on that. Uh, so he failed. So he actually takes a wound. Um, and does not... He fights valiantly. But... He take a, yeah, takes a wound, but doesn't add to the, uh, to the battle roll. Alright. Another guy. He's also going to do shooting. Boop. All right, he got a raise, so that's going to be, uh, what do you get? Three. Uh, so that is Terrorize. The fighter's fury terrorizes her foes. The enemy commander subtracts two from his spirit roll if forced to test morale. All right, so that will drop that down to two. So that's just going to fuck up morale. All right, and then the other guy... He is also going to do a buff. A buffening! Um, but at minus one, because fatigue. Let go. Alright, so he got the four. So he's got another point of fatigue. Um, and plus one to their side. Alright. Gallus! The shit happening up on the wall. You got siege towers trying to put troops up there. There's cannons and bullshit. Yeah, I don't 
think there's... I can't think of a good way to utilize taunt, taunt in this, but I can certainly fight, fight in the wall, so I guess I'll just go with that. Go with the fighting? Alright. Yeah. Roll it. Alright. So you got a success. Um, so you're going to take another point of fatigue, but that will... Unless you're bennying. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to not take another point of fatigue because okay. I can't really do that. Yeah. Or roll the, D, the extra d6. Given the poor rolling of d6s on those. Yeah. All right. Good God. You got two conviction tokens, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll See what happens. Throw. You're like right there. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, gotta really fight. All right, there you go. You got the raise. So that will be a ten. So slaughter, the foe reels at the champion's onslaught. So you knock off two of their. Of their bonus. Yeah, you're just like, you know, one of the 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 gates are like, or the the gates to like the siege towers opening, and you're just like there, just like tearing into everyone as they as they pour out. You know, the front the, you know, from the back, they're like charge. From the front, they're like retreats. <laughs> uh. All right, yeah, no, no fatigue or anything. All right, Moroku. There's siege bullshit going on. What you right. doing? Uh, let's see. We're down on numbers, but still okay on tactics. We don't have a bonus, so um. Well, your, your commander's yeah. bonus is plus four right now. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll do uh, I'll try to, I'll try to get the commander uh, a plus two on their roll. All right. You're doing the, you're just doing like the assistant field commander thing. Yeah, like. Oh no. Uh, that's from the last one. That's from this one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, at least that wasn't a crit fail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you'll get the success, um, but you will take fatigue. Um, so you're at you're at two fatigue now. Yeah, so I have to sit out around. Yeah, yeah, you guys can recover fatigue by just sitting out if you want. Um, I'm actually gonna have the uh, <laughs> couple of the enemies do that. Uh, all right, and what is Shippo doing? Shippo is assuming that the 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 illusory monsters are working, so he's going to continue doing that. As I get the thingy. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, that 2d6, what do we got? Seven, I think that's, yep, Valor. So plus two to your commander. <laughs> your commander's bonus is plus seven right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I think that's it for the round. So roll off with the commanders. So you guys have 16. plus 14. <laughs> 16, right? Uh, no, the morale, this is, sorry, This that's separate for morale checks. 
Okay, yeah, I should gonna... probably do that instead. With the the pretty stuff. Okay, yeah. yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so 14. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. <laughs> Alright, and now their side. Plus two. two. There, we have a plus two. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright, so they're gonna lose two more force tokens. You're windling, windling them down. Um, and then they gotta do morale. So, yeah. It feels you're... like. <laughs> What's that? I was just gonna say, losing the force tokens just seems like it tracks for a siege of. They're just burning through men. Yeah, pretty much. Um. That's Russia. Yeah, so they gotta do their spirit roll <laughs> at minus four now, because they've lost four force tokens. All right. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to use their bennies. <laughs> Make this battle last a bit longer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. One more. Run away! <laughs> Oh, man. So, uh... So, yeah. You guys are just, like... They just can't break through your defenses. You're just, like... Pretty much thwarting their efforts at every turn. Um... But fall for it. It's probably a rose. Yeah. Do you mean a rose? <laughs> so, yeah. You guys have just, like slaughtered so much of the enemy army that they're just like broken um and they they start pulling back um and they you know they uh they scatter and uh and leave the valley in a, in a somewhat orderly retreat um but yeah they they basically the commander realizes that they'd, they've suffered too many losses to to continue the fight so they conduct a retreat and uh, make their way back toward East Haven. <laughs> that seems um, like a really am nice I the only one that's like, run them that's... down? Yeah. <laughs> Let's pinch them be between the Agamids and the, and the Megamons. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like, you, you guys took out, like, I don't know, like a third of their forces. <laughs> and you you basically had minimal losses on your side. Um well, then comes together. Yeah, right. <laughs> um So it could have been this very badly one sided battle for you. Turned out to be kind of a a route <laughs> for the other side. Um and yes. Send the ravens. They must. Everyone must know of their shame. Yeah, yeah. Um, never more. Never more. So yeah, we can uh, close this out. Um, we can. Yeah, you know, the battle is over. Quiet, dramatic music. <laughs> um, yeah. You guys are just. Kind of hanging out back in Castle Rose, kind of picking up the damage and stuff. Um, you know, you're, it could have been a lot worse. You know, but you've suffered. You know, your your side did suffer some losses. A few of the few of the common folk were, you know, or no small amount of of the common folk. You know, the conscripts lost their lives in the battle. This is too happy. What the fuck? Here, let's do somber. We're doing a somber mood. There we go. It's sad. We're sad now. There you go. 
<laughs> Everyone be sad. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, the the damage is being cleaned up. You're you're of course all all tasked with helping out and everything. Um the dead are being being buried. Um and you guys as you're as you're doing as you're doing your thing, you uh you see Lady Rose like kinda wandering the 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 city. Uh just kinda you know survey the damage for herself. Um and she does not look happy. So now what do you guys do? <laughs> we also decide to look not happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Can seems we like a small Lady Rose? Way. <laughs> What's that, Otterts? Can we approach Lady Rose? Yeah. Yeah, she's just so kind of like out and about, looks kind of exhausted, a little frustrated, <laughs> just generally not feeling great. Yeah, Otterts will approach and you know, ask, so what happens now? She's like, all these people died because one man wanted to kill one person. And she just kind of like shakes her head. Like how, why are things like this? Why do, why do men have to die for, for power? Why do lesser men have to die for powerful men? <laughs> Some would argue that's the way of the world. Some would argue because there's not someone stronger to stop them. He's like, well, that's bullshit. I'm tired of all this. Not just Krios. All the Sorcerer Lords. They're all scum. Sending their people to die. If men are to be sent to die, they should choose their rulers. And she just kind of like, you know... Grumbles. Is there a concept of democracy in this world? Uh, in some places. Okay. Capitalism's a type of democ <laughs> democracy where you don't have any say in what happens, but you but you pretend you do. Right. I'm just wondering if, like, uh, you know, Otterts was like, have you considered a free market capitalist system? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that is everyone gonna stare at him like what? Probably. <laughs> but, you mean uh, like the vampires? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, she's pretty much like. I'll tell you what's gonna happen next. We're going to knock Krios off of his smug little throne. We're gonna we're gonna knock his smug little face off of his smug little throne. I'm so tired of people dying, I'm going to exterminate them all. What? No, that's not what she's saying at all. What no, are you getting? 50%. This is not a villain awakening, this is a revolution awakening. Come on, man. Yeah. Dragon Lady bad. No. no. Oh, maybe. She's tired yeah. of little folks dying, so she's going to cause the little folks to have a riot where they die. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, she's so just kind of like... The system is bullshit, and it needs to change. And maybe, maybe we can be the the force behind that change. Vive la France! But you know, maybe these are the the delusions of an idealistic sorceress. But uh. But yeah, you guys say anything else, sir? I mean, you keep paying me, I'll keep, I'll help you <laughs> knock them off. Like, can I make money for a revolution? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, you absolutely. Yes, you absolutely can. <laughs> Then I'm in. 
And how about the rest of you? Yeah. Will you? Would you? Con will you continue this runaway train I seem to have started? <laughs> well, there's always financial op opportunities and uh, people in need in war zones. Uh, I've always told my wife I'd make her a princess one day. <laughs> Which means that you and I need to have sex so that I can introduce her to the princess. <laughs> 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 oh man <laughs> it's supposed to be a serious moment you guys are making it weird <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah she seems to be somewhat inspired to to do more than just take down Krios you know lo looking over the the, uh, oh, yeah, the if she can, of if the she battlefield. Can... Yeah, and well, she's I... like, well, imagine what I could do if I had some competent people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our last characters took over the world, went insane or disappeared, and then left the world in ruin. And now it's time for a new set of characters to take over the world, get <laughs> bored, and leave the world in ruin. <laughs> nah, the cycle of war continues. I mean, who else are our next characters going to fight? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and when we do the when we do the reverse Jumanji Isekai and the world comes into the modern day at some yeah. point in like five years from now or whatever. <laughs> Fucking Alright, well and Margail has to fight the Blood Boy. Right. <laughs> I mean that's kind of a scion game, isn't it? Yeah. In some ways. Either that or we become like the best employees out of McDonald's. Uh, but yes. Devil's my timer. <laughs> so um if you guys are are all set speaking with Lady Rose, I can we can kind of close out the session slash season. Um sure. But yeah, you guys are kind of standing in some of the wreckage. Um the city's mostly still intact, but you know, a few stray cannon blasts have have toppled a few buildings here and there. Um, but nothing, you know, nothing some repairs can't fix. Um, but you have, you know, secured your your lands in Castle Rose for the immediate future. But it seems Lady Rose has uh, decided on a, on a path to revolution. And... She may be dragging you along that path if you're allowing it. Hmm. I prefer to walk slightly ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I what guess up? actual question, is anyone against uh, being a revolutionary? Revolution. <laughs> I think it doesn't go against what Jamal's group is about. So. <laughs> They're kind of anti-tyrant. So. Jamrel's group is about to get a lot more interested in Lady Rose. <laughs> well, especially with the isekai that she pulled. Right. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Who else can you guys be hanging around? Um... Jorik is like exhausted. You just see him kind of like sitting on a bench somewhere by himself. Um, you see Matthias, the uh, the not warforged guy. He's already picking up rubble and stuff and trying to clean up. Um, Katya is like up on a balcony in the keep, kind of trying to clear her head, I guess, from the battle. Uh, Alva's doing her usual thing, smacking another training dummy around. Urian's enjoying some ale in a half-destroyed tavern. Um, and the others are just sort of... It was of, like that after I got here. Yeah, <laughs> the others are just sort of helping to pick things up. Uh, 
Aiden Vaughn is like, well, I'm usually thing making things explode, not unexplode, so I will also be at the bar. Uh, the spy master's nowhere to be found, likely keeping tabs on the uh, the retreating force. Um, and yeah, the traveler is somewhere. <laughs> He's uh, he's in the city square, kind of like in awe of what he had done during the battle. Like you guys saw him fight, and he doesn't seem to even understand like how he was able to do that. This uh, now significantly less less portly, middle-aged Japanese accountant. <laughs> um. um. Should I roll for Jamral to note that, like, his mark is much bigger than what the old travelers did? Yeah, if you want. Well, that'd be like a cult? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Um, oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's the. It's, uh. You know. Oh, watch your shenanigans. Alright, with the five. Um. So you do seem to be able to notice a correlation with um, the Traveler's power and the sort of um, how elaborate his his tat the tat the mark is becoming. Um, you know, when he first had it, he really was still just you know an overweight accountant, and now it's like going up his entire arm. Um, with all these crazy designs and runes and whatnot, just Stuff you've, like, never really seen before. Um, and just from, like, your knowledge of the outside or not the outsider, that's Dishonored, God damn it, the Watcher. <laughs> um, it seems like he's decided to change the game a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because you know the Travelers just had marks that gave them a little bit of power, but they kind of did most of the work themselves. Um, but yeah, this, uh, yeah, like, uh, the, the fucking, your traveler seems to have gotten exponentially stronger over a much shorter period of time. So we'll have to keep an eye on him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll go crazy and become a fucking weed growing lich or something. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Have a He's weed off. Balance the country's books. <laughs> What's that? He's gonna balance the country's books. <laughs> Accountant powers activate. <laughs> okay, that does sound like an anime though. Like he balances the book so well it solves world hunger. Or something. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, people are conspiring to fucking kill him because they're like, we can't actually solve that. Then the peasants will revolt. <laughs> yeah. He immediately calls out, like, all the feudal lords that are, like, not paying the proper taxes. Right. The oh, yeah, that would make him a lot of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, if you guys have nothing else, this will more or less conclude season one of Les Wizards and uh, we'll pick up with season two at some point in the distant future but hopefully not too distant when I'm motivated to run run this again um, but I hope you guys have been enjoying things so far um, and you know you like the admittedly kind of short climactic battle <laughs> it, it was fitting. What's that? It's fine when we're being effective. Right. So like, oh, <laughs> Suffered so like not. minimal losses. <laughs> can I spend? Can I spend a Benny to have the big bad trip and break his neck? Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can spend a Benny that he did inhale the. Uh... Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy shit. Oh my god. You guys are such buttholes. <laughs> <laughs>
Like, yep, yeah, hey, we're going to the war. We're going full <laughs> biological warfare. Geneva Convention ain't no shit yet, so we're doing whatever we fucking want. It's just a brush fire. The brush just happens to have chemicals in it. <laughs> <laughs> the brush is just mustard gas, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Uh. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to end the stream. Thank you for watching, Internet. All, like, one viewers. Your patronage is much appreciated. <laughs> um, we'll see you in in the future. Good day. Mm -hmm.